Number seven from the 2006 Higher Maths Paper 2, you're given a sketch of the graph of a certain function and you have to sketch the graphs of certain transformations of that function. Now these transformations just involve shifts horizontally and vertically, so those could be called translations. That's where the shape stays the same but simply slides along to a new position without getting any wider or narrower. Well the first one is this. You have to show y equals f of x minus 4. Remember, f stands for the result of the calculation here. You carry out some calculation and the answer is plotted as a y-coordinate. So this graph shows all the original answers. f stands for the original answer. If you want to draw the graph of x minus 4, that means that, for instance, when x is 0, what will I draw here? I'll draw the answer I had, that's f of negative 4. So in other words, the answer I plot here is the answer I used to have back here. This is the value that I'm going to plot here. So everything's going to be brought forward 4. So the whole graph's going to slide forward 4 units, which means that that point is going to go all the way to the y-axis. That'll be the graph that's been translated forward 4 units. So this is the graph. There isn't a mark yet. You get one mark for knowing to shift it forward, to translate it forward for. But you need to put in the points. Well, if that was Q, this is the new Q. The sort of convention for that is to put Q with a little dash on it, standing for an image. And if it's going forward for, it means the x coordinate is now 0, but the y coordinate is still 5. Now that gets you one mark having the shifted graph and one point, and this point P here, which is also going forward 4, putting this one in gets you the second mark. So 1 plus 4 means 5, and then it's still at height A, whatever that is, up. That's worth two marks now. Better just see which one this is. That's Y equals F of X minus 4. Now, part B says, now draw the graph of y equals 2 plus f of x minus 4. Well, I've already done f of x minus 4. I've taken the answers which I found 4 back and brought them forward. The 2 outside simply means whatever answers I've got now, I'm going to add 2 onto them. The answers are going to increase by 2. I take my answer, f stands for that, and I add 2 onto it. So it's been shifted forward 4, so now I've got to shift the whole thing up 2. So the new graph just lifts up to here. So again, what are these new points? Well, again, following the convention, that was originally from Q. I've already got Q dashed as the first image, so use a double dash for the second image. What's happened to this? This time, it's done its go forward 4. It's still to do its go up 2, add 2 to the answers. So it's still along 0, but now it'll be up 7. Now drawing that shifted up 2, and this point 0, 7 gets you one mark. And then showing where P goes to, or rather P dash goes to, which is this new point here. P double dashed, since I've already got a P single dash, will still be 5 along, but will now be whatever A is, plus another 2 up the way for the new Y coordinate. And that gets the second mark. And another thing you could have done, Instead of putting the, you have to put the points in, instead of putting the coordinates beside the points, would be, of to, would be to indicate them with little marks on the axis. So the point P, you could have had a 1 there and an A there, for instance. And that would be allowed, but I think you're better off having the coordinates written beside the point. One last thing, what was that? That was Y equals 2 plus F of X minus 4. Quite a busy little diagram, though.